Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are natural artists. We paint, we sing, we dance. It's all a part of our ceremony. And that's how we conceived the idea of Celebrate, Create, Connect. It's about celebrating Indigenous culture. It's about creating equal opportunities. And it's about connecting non-Indigenous people to Indigenous culture here in Australia. I spent 10 years as a registered nurse. Health is always something that's been very, very important to me and it's something that has informed my practice over time. The feeling behind it was always going to be this focus on Aboriginal perspectives and how that intersects with healthcare and making, you know, Aboriginal patients and families feel safe in that space. Part of my art practice is to encourage people's curiosity to find out more about First Nation peoples in Australia and that we have survived. One of the opportunities that this sculpture presented was that children could actually crawl on it, play on it, climb on it, and for children to be curious about what it is. I've had the benefit of being able to be mentored by some incredible artists and you know, being able to pay that forward is incredibly rewarding. Having the opportunity to do this project with us is just amazing. It means a lot to me as a First Nations artist to be involved in this project. When I pitched the original idea, the feeling behind it was always going to be this focus on Aboriginal perspectives. Circles are a big part of our symbolism. One single line circle is knowledge. Two circles within each other is strength. They have a really deep meaning to us just because they've been part of our history for so long. For First Nations people who are visiting the hospital, this sculpture will create a sense of belonging. It's really important for us to show that this is a welcoming and safe place, both culturally and from a healthcare perspective. So we wanted to acknowledge Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and the contribution that they've made to our society. We need to be really mindful of the fact that for Aboriginal people, culture and connection to country and community is really quite an important part of that sort of concept of wellness. When we have Indigenous patients and families coming from all regions around Australia and they see the mural out the front together or they see the sculpture leaf in the Northern Court, they will feel like they are safe here, that they are welcome and they are included in the hospital because that's the very least that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander patients and families deserve in a place like the RCH. They're going to see this, this large-scale work and see themselves in it, see themselves represented in it, see that, you know, Aboriginal perspectives are something that are welcomed here. For Jill and I, the impact of this project is profound. It's just always been so important in society. You like to give back to something that helps everybody. Sometimes when I visited the Royal Children's, it was immensely sad to see these little lives so impacted by their physical health. So it creates an opportunity of escape for the sick kiddies to be able to come out and play and forget about being sick for a little while. It's really lovely to see children interacting with art in a playful way. These artworks are symbols of healing and connection to the land. That's why we're most excited to be able to present and give them to the hospital. What we wanted to be able to leave behind was a real welcome to this country. I feel really passionately about public art and the role that it plays and how accessible it is. You know, it takes art out of the galleries, puts it into the public realm for everyone. It transcends privilege and power. You know, it gives everybody the opportunity to engage with it. There are many tribes across Australia and many tribes in Victoria. We want them to know that the Royal Children's Hospital is there to support them, there to uh, walk together with them on their journey. We are the sum of our stories, so it's our stories that give us a context. Celebrate, Create, Connect is a gift from the first people of this land to our community to say, you are welcome, you are safe, you are looked after, and most importantly, we are still here.